Hey everyone, Tom was here back at it with another video and I'll be honest I didn't expect to be talking about NBA Top Shot again so soon but here we are. Um, if you haven't watched that NBA Top Shot video and maybe you're not familiar with what NBA Top Shot is go back and watch that video. Um, I'll be, you know, I'm a little bit naive in that video. I don't know a lot of things about it, um, but I have been, I've learned a lot of things about NBA Top Shot over the, um, over the weekend here. But in NBA Top Shot, you buy these digital collectibles. Um, basically, they're like NBA licensed moments that are set up like a card form in terms of packs that you can buy and individual cards you can buy uh, from the marketplace. Now, this site is generating a lot of buzz, a lot of intrigue, and a lot of money is going into NBA Top Shot. I purchased a card um, out of the Rising, or sorry, a pack, the Rising Stars pack on Friday, and it was $14. So in that $14 pack, I received three collectible moments, as they call them. Two of them were a common and one was a Rising Stars limited series of 10,000. The common ones are um, limited to 35,000, but it also has a plus symbol by it, meaning they can increase the series later date. So that can go up to 45,000 to 50,000 to 100,000, but currently they're set at 35,000. Anywho, in that other video, I looked over at the price points and one of my cards that I got um, had a lowest price point of $10. One of my cards had a lowest price point of $25, and the Rising Stars card, which was Nikola Vucevic, was my card of the Rising Stars pack, had a lowest price of $199. When I checked it in the video, you can go back in the video and watch it. So, I decided I was going to attempt to put these cards on sale just for the sole purpose of seeing how much money I could pull down on NBA Top Shot. Not in terms of collections, not in terms of, you know, oh, I'm gonna build up this whole bunch of digital collectibles. This was an investment purposes venture. And it was to see how much money I could pull down by um, moving one of these cards. So I started with Vucevic, uh, the card that was listed at $199. Now, after the marketplace opened up, after the first pack drop, you know, the market was flooded with packs. So 60,000 additional packs hit that market. A lot of people got that Vucevic card. A lot of people put it up for trade. So by the time I had got able to put it up on the marketplace on there, it had dropped down to about $125. So I put it up for $145. The idea was I spent $14 on the pack. I'm putting up this one card if I'm making 10 times the amount that I invested into this, um, you know, this service, this digital collectible service, then I've won. I have won the game in terms of that I have, you know, I've made back 10 times my investment on one collectible, digital collectible, I guess you could say. And so the marketplace, as soon as I put that card up, the marketplace had some issue and it was shut down. In fact, the marketplace on NBA Top Shot is a bit temperamental. It has been down for a lot of the weekend and still is not back up. It's supposed to be back up today, not back up yet. So there definitely is an issue with the marketplace on Top Shot. So tread lightly. Hopefully they'll fix that issue. But at some point on Friday evening, after much issue, much running around, much problems, I ended up getting Vucevic on there for $145. And as soon as I did it, the marketplace went down. As soon as I did it, it shut down. So I was like, okay, this is probably not going to move. It's probably not, you know, it's silly. Because I didn't put the lowest price. The lowest price was $125. I put $145. Figured I'd get 10 times the investment. And I never, I didn't think anything of it. I went to bed on Friday night. I woke up on Saturday. Uh, I went, you know, I was doing, going about my normal day. And I went, ooh, what if I go check NBA Top Shot and see if the marketplace is back up? Notification on my listing. It shows this. What it shows was that Vucevic sold 
for $145. That's right. 10 times my investment, my $14 investment in one pack, one card or digital collectible from that pack sold for $145. You have my curiosity. But now you have my attention. Now, let's perceive that two different ways. One, this sounds crazy to, you know, a certain people, to an outsider that doesn't understand why someone would invest money on a little video, a little snippet of one video taken from one game that's on a website that they determine value. But what determines value? Whatever someone's willing to pay. And someone was willing to pay $145 for my digital collectible card that I spent $14 on and it was part of a pack of three. So what do you do here? Some would say, as initially was my thought, take the money and run. You made 10 times your investment, $14, you made $140 off of $14. Who wouldn't want to do that? Everybody would want to do that. So just take it, run. Then as the weekend went on, something started creeping back into my brain, which is you're playing with house money. When you go to the casino, for those of you that do, and you get, say like they give you a free, you sign up, you get a free $20 slot play or $30 slot play, or maybe you're a loyalty member and you get a few dollars slot play and you take that slot play and you win, say with your $20 one, you win, let's make it easy, $140. You won $140 on a free $20 slot play. Now, in my circumstance, I'm still out the 14, but I now have 140. So, what would you do in that circumstance? Some of you cash out, leave the casino, thrill that you beat the house. Or do I take that 140? And I go deep into Top Shot. And I'm telling you, I start buying cards for the marketplace or packs when they release them. Just to see for the sole purpose if I can make more than 140 or even more of an investment. Look, I have dabbled in many things. I have dabbled in sports cards. I have dabbled in stocks. I have dabbled in cryptocurrency. But I dabble. I don't spend a ton of money on this stuff. And I kudos to people that do and they have the money to, you know, I wish if I had the money to put invest in, I would invest in all types of things because you never know, you know, what when something's going to take off. This is like, NBA Top Shot is like a GameStop situation where, you know, right now, before people realize that they're buying a digital video, for hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars. The the largest top shot highlight was a LeBron James, I think, three point shot. And I think it sold for like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's a it's a video. It's it's a video online. So there's a lot of money rolling through Top Shot at the moment. And my pea, measly peasly little a hundred bucks, you know, is not a lot of that. No. I could just cash out, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I may stay in. I may invest a bit more. Um, but, man, uh, I'm. It's, it's a curiosity to me that someone took the card that I purchased. Because now it's an issue of supply and demand. In the sense that people are trying to get these packs. Word of mouth is forming on this site. And people are trying to get a hold of cards and they're trying to flip cards or they're trying to collect cards. And, you know, it's like business is booming at the moment. Do I want to leave that for my, you know, $100 gain or can I gain a lot more? Now, look. I'm not going to send the kids to college on NBA Top Shot. Maybe somebody could if they if they strike while the iron's hot. You know, maybe you flip a few deals or you happen to luck your way into some top card that you can flip for thousands of dollars. That's possible. From what I've seen on Top Shot, that is very possible. 
But for me, I'm looking at it more short, short term. Like, look, I got some new game systems. I was eyeballing a TV to roll out the red carpet. Is it something where Top Shot could buy me a new television? Possibly. Am I willing to gamble my $14? Say I put in $14 like I just did and Top Shot buys me a TV. Or, or beyond that. Thrilled. Thrilled, I've won. I've won. So, right now, like I said, I'm $140 up. Well, I'm, sorry, I'm tenfold up. I'm, I'm really 120 or so dollars up, to $25 up, in the sense that my $14 investment. But still, I may put all 140 into cards, into Top Shot cards, and I may take that 140, or the, those cards, and I may buy them and attempt to flip them for double the price to see if I can do it. That's worth the gamble to me. That's worth the attempt. Because like I said, I've dabbled in crypto. I've dabbled in stocks. I've dabbled in partial stocks. I've dabbled in trading cards and collectibles, as you can see, and all types of different stuff. But very rarely is there a situation where you can make 10 times the money that you put in. You know, sometimes you can make a profit on getting a collectible in a mystery box. That's not necessarily what I look for. I look for it as a collector. But with NBA Top Shot, it's cool to have a collection. But let's not argue that this is a digital... It's it's a video. It's a it's a video. It's um, a highlight in the sense that is it is it worth keeping and holding on to when, you know, the world opens back up again and people realize... Similar with trading cards in a sense that people realize like, oh, wow, we've been spending the entire pandemic buying all these collectible things and now here the world's open again. We can go out and do things. We can go to games. We can go to concerts. We can do all this types of stuff. Are they going to offload their collectibles? Is, is stuff like Top Shot going to be worthless in a sense or, or definitely take a dip in value wise when people don't have the distraction of not being able to go outside where they could just walk out and go to a concert or go to a movie theater or go to Dave and Buster's or whatever they want to do I don't know but I'm willing to take the short term gamble and give it a shot now I want to know for those people that watch this in the comments below, if you're still watching, let me know your thoughts on what I should do here. Because right now the marketplace is not open. It's been having issues the entire NBA All-Star Game weekend. I'm sure Top Shot is thrilled about that. So the entire NBA All-Star weekend where they're pushing these and word of mouth is at an all-time high for them. You can't get on the marketplace and buy any cards. Because I've come to the realization that I'm I'm probably going to let it ride. I'm probably going to put the house money back into the house in a sense that I'm going to try to buy cards and I'm going to try to flip them for profit. Now, I know people collect them and people enjoy collecting them. Uh, I I just want to see what I can do here because if I can profit on this new wave of cards whenever marketplace does open up and I buy some cards if I end up flipping them and thing I may then invest in more cards and attempt to flip them to the point that I can have enough money to buy a TV and then maybe I'll cash out or maybe I'll let it ride a little bit put some extra money in there and attempt to um just keep flipping keep flipping and rolling and, and keep it going because it's crazy out there right now but let me know your thoughts on NBA Top Shot. If you're in it for the money, if you're in it for the collection, what are you in NBA Top Shot for? And I, I, you know, it's just wild to me. Like I never thought in a million years when I saw that in the first video that I had a card and it said the minimum price was $199 and then dropped to 125, sold for 145, 10 times the investment. I thought that was a pipe dream in a sense that. I didn't realize that was the type of money flowing around Topshop, but it is flowing. So it's worth it to attempt to buy a highlight and attempt to flip it. Or it's worth it, maybe you just love the highlights. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, you can do so. It's Redshirt. Also links to my eBay store, new Facebook page, Clubhouse, Instagram, all that stuff. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, I will update you on my Top Shot status. But until then, I will see you soon. Bye, everyone.